Okay. Okay, so thank you so much for coming tonight. Uh, my name is Jackie Kaufman, and I'm running for Justice of Peace District 4 in Pulaski County. Uh, I especially want to thank all the volunteers that have helped me in this campaign, most importantly my family, um, who's always there to support me in my quest to do good in this world. I'm excited to be running for this position because I want to be involved in making sure that Little Rock is, a, is that great place that we, call, that we call home. So first I'd like to introduce myself before I get into what I'd like to do when elected Justice of Peace in Pulaski County. I was born and raised in Little Rock. I'm a resident in the Leewood neighborhood. I've been there for over 20 years. Um, I went to Mount St. Mary Academy here in Little Rock, got my accounting degree at University of Arkansas Little Rock, and then went on to St. Louis and got my Master's of Business Administration there. Um, the past 19 years, I've been Chief Financial Officer at Christ the King Church and School. Our church supports various local food pantries and day resource centers. And so I had an opportunity to work with um, a Homeless Day Resource Center. And from there, I learned a lot about the city's homeless problems and the challenges. I raised my daughter here, and she's now a special education teacher. She is the reason why I'm running. I want her to live out her hopes and dreams here in a city that is safe, a city that can attract and retain good paying jobs for citizens, and a city that has great neighborhoods where we can raise our families. So a question that I'm often asked is, well, what is a justice of peace? What are those responsibilities? A justice of peace is part of a 15 member body called the Quorum Court. This is a legislative body that oversees the Pulaski County budget of over $175 million. This is a county seat and almost 50% of the general fund is allocated to services that serve the more rural parts of the county. However, Little Rock is in Pulaski County and I will be looking for ways to bring more benefits to our city. There are 15 districts within Pulaski County and District 4 is called Midtown, made up of neighborhoods such as Treasure Hills, Leewood, Hillcrest, and Stiff Station. So yes, a Justice of Peace does perform civil marriage ceremonies, but one of the most important jobs they perform is approving the county budget and making appropriation of funds. These local seats that we don't often pay attention to have a direct effect on our life your life and mine. So it's important that we pay attention to who the candidates are running for these seats and what they're actually doing once they get into office. If elected, I would not just be filling a seat or be a rubber stamp, but instead I'd be trying to improve our quality of life here in Little Rock. So now I'm gonna get into some goals that I have as a Justice of Peace in District 4. Uh, first, and foremost for me is budget oversight. So my current job as Chief Financial Officer includes having budget oversight, making sure we're not overspending, we're planning for the future, and we're operating as efficiently as we can. My first goal would be to review budget, budgets carefully, keeping an eye out for any efficiencies, such as centralizing operations. A second goal would be to pursue solutions for voters the issues that voters are concerned about. And a third goal would be to meet regularly with voters, to stay in touch about current issues of the day and how we can solve those problems. So here's a couple of examples of budget issues that I have been reviewing. The public safety budget is the largest budget of the general fund. And over the past several years, it's been mostly, it's been the most funded department in the history of that agency. An investment of $26 million has been made over the years to fund one-time upgrades, such as replacing jail locks, a new body scanner, and a new integrated record system. Also, deputies have received substantial pay raises 
from a starting salary of $39,413 up to $50,210. Positions are fully funded, yet vacancies range up to almost 40%. Requests for additional funds have been made for more staff. However, this is not justified given the vacancy rates. Mandatory overtime is required, and deputies are working enormous amounts of overtime, and they're stressed, and it definitely could affect our safety and theirs in an adverse way. My opponent would vote to fund more positions despite the vacancies. The quorum court so far has declined to fulfill the public safety's numerous requests to add more money to that budget. In 2023, my opponent proposed an ordinance that would replace the county detention medical budget over budget by $2 million. So this is not sustainable. More recently, in August 2024, my opponent proposed an ordinance to appropriate grant funds for the sheriff's opioid response team. This $334,000 grant from the Arkansas Opioid Recovery Partnership will fund two positions who will work for prevention of opioid use. This is on face value a really good program. However, there was no plan in your ordinance that addresses how this program would be sustained. The application states that county funds would continue this program after the two-year grant period. However, my research shows that the program cannot continue because there are no budgeted funds for this good program. So, as your justice of peace, I would be actively looking for ways to cut costs and then redirect funds to other priorities, such as to improve the mental health uh, services or beefing up reentry programs that teach inmates reading and math skills. Another budget I've reviewed is the road and bridge budget, and you can see actual salaries paid are much less than budgeted. It's just really hard to find good people to work. Um, but this is affecting much road repair work, uh, how it can be scheduled, and when projects may finally be completed. I would want to look at road repair schedules, prioritize projects based on a visual look at the roads, ensure there are enough savings for large capital expenditures, all the while working with department leaders. There are several members of the Corn Court who are fiscal conservatives and from both sides of the political aisle. They are conservative in how county funds are spent and who have voted to hold elected, account elected officials accountable. So if you want a justice, justice of peace who would hold elected ac officials accountable and is willing to work for the best of Little Rock, I would please ask that you strongly consider voting for me. Another goal 